welcome to my new videos thank you for clicking and in this video I am thinking of doing something you know new video for a newbie especially for newbie since well maybe in these two three days I will make a video that aim for the newbie how they can make some ish to continue their adventure in uh, EVE Online especially for Alpha clone which don't know how what to do next what what uh, how to say what route you should go in if you want to red there's no place for you to make like you know there's no anomaly here you know, even though if there is an anomaly on a high sec it is not really good unless you get an escalation uh, money come from escalation when you go reading on a high sec uh, yeah that's for this video I am going to you know run a tier 0 abyss with Punisher and I already run it though I test it already run it already I get around approximately you know sometime it is lower sometime it is higher depends on you know RNG <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I get 25 million. De also depends on scale, how fast you can clear it, or you know, and it is alpha friendly. So let's get into the fit. No, I haven't fit anything yet. And you know what? Even though I can fly Paladin really good, I'm not really good at other ship at all besides paladin and uh, battleship especially paladin and uh, apocalypse and also drone of course but uh, the rest of the ships i am pretty bad at it because most of the time i am running mission okay so what i am going to do is pause Oh, bo, bo, bo. do you like pulse laser tech 2? No, I can use tech 2. So, I am going to use this like 4, of course, 4. 4 of them. And in the rig slot, I'll just want to make it simple. You know, capacitor control circuits make it cheap. You know, three. It is pretty cheap because I want to, you know, make it as cheap as possible for you guys to start up with on Abyss. And then <coughs> we're gonna need. Um, let's leave a mid slot for now though. We are going to, I like this though, reactive, yeah, reactive armor, reactive control unit, what is that, no, reactor, no, reactive armor hardener, this is the one I wanted. This module, yeah, a bit expensive, maybe a bit expensive for a newbie, it is 1 million, but it is really good, you know, uh, after each cycle, the resistance increase depends on uh, damage type that you get, you taken from uh, red. So it is really great. It go up to sixty percent. And uh, for this, I am going to fit cap battery. 
Mm, wait a minute. Small armor repair. Because we need we need to we need to wrap. Mobile come no lala. The ye no lala. I am going to buy ten. It is a little bit like expensive. Maybe two millions. Yeah, uh, three million. But then I can use like days, two, three days for that. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty much. Pretty much short range. Really low range. Uh, how about radio? Not just a radio, though. I am going to buy Imperial Navy Radio S. Yes. Ten more. And then save it down there. Okay. The rest I am going to put. Do I have uh, PACI capacitor? Growth. No. Capacitor power relay. Yes. What does power relay do? Expense of shield boosting now. Uh, we don't use shield booster anyway, so we can use that No problem To help in uh, you know capacitor rate recharging And if we calculate it with one we are stable with two no I I want to use micro warp drive and set up micro warp drive. Okay. Uh, just have to. I just have to, you know, look it out. If there is a lot of bread, try and uh, if I can shoot it. Try not to use micro warp drive because micro warp drive will Welcome make my ship bigger. Signature now. radius will be bigger. If not, then just fly normal. If I let's say if I use afterburner, how fast it is? Because I want as fast as I can. Oh, micro warp drive with. One key. I think micro warp drive can also go to after. How about tech two? No, leave it. Tech two. Can I use tech two? Yes, I can use tech two. Uh, tech two. And oh, wow. No. With two, it is not possible. And uh. Cap battery, small cap. Oh, here it is. Yeah, with this, with this, it is cap stable. How about if we take this off? Oh uh, no! Ah, you. We don't always need two armor repair though. Second, second one is just you know in case. I will use. You know, after burner instead of micro warp drive because micro warp drive will make my signature radius bigger. I am not going to use the micro warp drive, but micro warp drive can be good if I have to catch things really fast. But 1000 per second is more than enough, though. I, I, I guess it is good enough. Cap battery. Okay. Yes, cap stable. Now we have a cap stable ship. Um, DPS is only 110. It's not that great, I know. <laughs> Maybe let's see. Uh, 
if we can I still have like 300k in the skill point I just save it though I don't use maybe in case if I need something you know oh small small energy turret Whoa. level 3 I think it's enough because I don't really want it's just for showcasing so I don't want to upgrade it for now for now let's just get into it and for the filament that I am going to use is no okay for the filament that I am going to use is electrical because electrical help me on a you know have more capacitor environment and also reduce the EM resistance that is really good for a Mars ship because a Mars ship does EM and thermal damage that's great so and we are using true tranquil tranquil electrical filament so expensive one we'll just take three okay we are set and ready we can go but first can I wait a minute my name is here uh, form fleet with yes We are ready to go. Well, one minute. Yeah. We will just jump there. Let's try it out, okay? I hope I don't blow up my ship though. Seven and eight. This one go down there. And we don't really have to worry for the ganger because they don't really interested in uh, ganging the you know new bro ships that do uh, tier zero even tier one they don't really interested unless they see you have a shiny ship like you know Gila or a Nurgle or you know retribution then they might they might gang me but uh, it's a punisher just active the reactive armor harder now and we are good to go We will head directly to the catches. And take a look at that. Imperial Navy. 14 kilometer. I can shoot this guy already. Imperial Navy. They are pretty fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. The red is doing more thermal damage, meaning... See that? Yeah, I have... It is like 51% resistant on thermal damage. for more damage we can also use uh, micro warp drive though no we don't really do much damage look at that only 13 8 it's simple it's easy and uh, we are getting like 
I think uh, 10 to 20 million. Not that hard, it's pretty easy. Maybe a little bit hard for a newbie, but uh, you know, since I have a good support skill for gunnery, I mean, I have like a Rapid fire at five, sharpshooter at five, and then uh, surgical strike at five. Those are all support skill for the, you know, support skill for the projectile weapon, energy weapon, and hybrid weapon. So fancy and we got a tranquil exotic and then move on to the next room this is also easy this guy also easy I think I should use micro warp drive instead of uh, afterburner so that I can catch nah Pretty fast. Ay, 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 ay. Doesn't do really much damage because we are using radio radio s radio s is a long range ammo if we use multi frequency then much much faster kill more dps but as you guys can see the red is pretty fast so I can't really catch him unless maybe if I fit maybe if I fit like webby fire then make him slow I can catch him I don't know but the Punisher most of the Amar ship is really really low mid slot you know? doesn't have much mid slot Miss lot is where most there's another 800k another 800k and then another 800k calm filament calm dark filament how much is that? 1,800. Oh. So this is the last one, Devoted Hunter. Devoted Hunter is... Most people say that this is a dangerous, dangerous mob. But since we are doing a... You know, tier 0 doesn't really have to be 
afraid of now if we are doing like you know higher tier tier one tier two then a bit scary though that he is a bit slow though I can catch him so that's when I can use multi frequency yeah I think using a uh, afterburner is much better than uh, micro warp drive even if I use my full warp that I will be like too fast. And uh, this is pretty low one. Okay, we're gonna... We made it within like 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, how much we get? In 10 minutes, how much we get? This one. Let's see how much we get. 10 minutes is 2 million. We get it. So let 20 minutes is then uh, 4 million. 6. Yeah, around 10, mil 10 million uh, per hour doing a uh, tier 0 abyss. Sometime you could get like 20 million depends on what you loot and if you are lucky sometime you know you get a blueprint uh triclavian blueprint triclavian ship uh maybe naga i don't know but uh this one i looted before naga i don't know naga blueprint those can also sell a bit of money. We are gonna dock there. Warp drive active. So that's my fit for that's my fit and you know gameplay for tier zero electrical abyss. Yeah. Tier zero electrical abyss. If you guys enjoy it, you know, press smash the like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more video like this to help newbie, I will try to do my best to create more content to make you guys entertained. For now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Jitter trade is not responsible for.